Elimas the sorcerer is a spirit that is out there. A spirit that position itself to be in a position of authority or close to authority. Is a positioning spirit that takes care of the ground and never to allow anything that is of God to come closer. Some of you will never see your CEO because there is somebody in that office that say you might bring a different influence to this man so that will stop you from seeing this Elima stood against the gospel when we speak about a false prophet we are not talking about somebody who comes and makes mistakes a false prophet is somebody who consciously is pushing an agenda that is not of God. A false prophet is one who is disguised to look like a servant of God, but is not. Jesus. I've seen being a pastor and leading thousands of men of God, many making sincere mistakes. They make mistakes, they stand to fall, stand to fall, and one day they will stand not to fall. Every year, millions of people join into the fast, not to pray Aflukao, but to pray Jesus Christ Glory across the globe. Jesus. And Elimas is afraid of that. Here with Elimas, the Lord is showing you and I something. The same way Ananias was dealt with on the altar of God by the God of peace and love. Jesus. You must know the things of God have to be handled in the ways of God. Yes. My precious in the Lord, how do you deal with uh, Elimas? The first thing you must know, ignoring Elimas does not help anything go forward. The one who has been operating and manipulating things spiritually against you, causing your downfall, steering up fire against you, looking on the other side does not solve it. That business is not working. You understand it's because of that God. You said yeah. the Lord will be the judge. No, no. God has established you to yes. deal with this. Oh, yes. To sympathize with Elimas is a mistake. There is no love in sympathizing with a snake. At all. Jesus. Three. When dealing with an Elimas, Pronounce a judgment against it. In the name of Jesus. Against the spirit. That's right. Don't physically go and chop its head. Mm -mm. You gotta speak. Yes. All that Paul did was to speak. Yes. All that Simon did was to speak. Mm. Some of you is you speak today. On Monday at work, you will notice your Elima suspect. Speak. Someone is sitting on your file. Somebody said this one is going nowhere. Elima is there. Imagine. And you want to sympathize. Mm -mm. Elima had made up his mind not to let you have it easy. Elimas loves your pain, drinks your tears as juice. You gotta speak. Yes. Pull your sword. Yes. Lift up a naked sword in battle. Hmm. When children of God are inactive, the enemy flows easily that's right when each one of us will begin to understand who we are and whose we are what we carry we will begin to see things around us change i believe it 
There is power you have. I receive it. You keep on running from doctor to doctor with either your first bone, your second bone, your third bone. It must, must be stopped. Speak. For you will move from going from doctor to doctor to going from symmetry to symmetry. Mm. Whatever in the air is manipulated by whoever on earth to cause me pain. I bind you now. Jesus name. I bind you now. Bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. May every elite must be stricken with blindness in the in name of the Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say may every elite must be stricken with blindness. In Jesus name. Oh, well, I'm afraid to go home because you see when I go home, there, there are people there who do not mean good and they'll catch me. No. Today, Today. even before you go home. Jesus name. May the Spirit of God arrest every Elimus. Now in Jesus' name. I say every Elimus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is Elimus that say that you will never see promotion. You will never get married. Mm. You will never have your own children. Devil is alive. Your grandchildren will cause you the last pain that will take you to your grave. Devil is a liar. I speak against your work. In the name of Jesus. I speak against your agenda. Oh, yes. Be stricken with blindness. In the name of Jesus. You will not see Jesus. my family again. In the name you of Jesus. You will not see my finances again. I will see it. You will not see my business again. In the name of Jesus. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. Yes. Those of yesterday. Spoke against wizards. Yes. Mm -mm. Consistent with the scriptures in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. Don't take heed to whoever out there tells you well sympathize with the I told you it's either two ignorance. Similar birds. That's right. mm. This is the word of God. Right. I have seen this both in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm. That's why the devil hates me mm. with a passion. Yes. He hates me and I hate him. him so. My relationship with that devil is hate, hate. Hate, hate. <laughs> I have seen the effect of pronouncing judgment. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I was in a family in the sitting room. Someone in the hospital came out and all gathered because the person was not discharged to leave. The person was discharged to die. They invited me to come and pray, and after looking at the horrifying picture that I saw in the room, in fact, nobody could remain in that room for long. The smell was bad. So we all retrieved in the sitting room. And as I stood there with the family, the Lord told me, the one behind this is here. Hey. Now what do you do? Mm -hmm. Say, oh, well, let him go, please. The pain is too much. Mm -mm. I say, he must, must be stopped. Come on, yes. I say, the Lord is telling me, the person here, the fate of this person, whatever the person is going through, not that every sickness is caused by the same. Right. This specific case, it is a true manipulative diabolical spirit orchestrated by one who is here? The person who was saying amen to everything I was saying was the person. My God, he must be stopped. I said this before God. I said, I am counting till three. For your own good. 
I want you to come in front. Here. So if you dealt with, no, everybody's looking. No one is closing his eyes because we gotta know who right is now. he. I say one. While I'm speaking, I'm not anybody's friend because I'm not permanently anybody's friend. Oh, yes. I'm not me, me, you knew. No, I'm me, me. I say, when I can't tell three, your fate will be sealed. One. And I normally count very fast. I don't count one. No. You see, when I'm counting one till seven, fire come, I don't go one. Mm -mm. So fire is getting ready. <laughs> Two. No, no, no. <laughs> because you pronounce judgment, you speak it. I say one, two, three. As I say three, we all heard the breaking of bones. You know bones breaking? Jesus. Someone who was this tall, you oh know, collapse God. with pain all over. The Thank same Jesus. pain that person had, bones breaking. So shall it be. Mm. You see, it's me, it's me. When that happened, I went inside. To see that other person, the smell was still bad. The person managed to open the eyes. Now we have someone crying in the city room. I came back to the city room. I said to those I knew were clean, I said, take care of that person inside. Mm. Take the person, still carrying the person because the person could not stand. I said, take the person out for fresh air. And they said, and of this, I said, send him to the hospital. Somebody! <laughs> uh, hear me. Oh, Alpastro, you are I mean. mean. Oh, now you know. Mm. <laughs> you, you, you are mean, Pastor. You see, uh, 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 uh. I'm like Elijah. I'm like Elisha. I am yes. like Peter. I am like Paul. I said, send the person to the hospital. And the person went to the hospital. Keeps on confessing so many things, mm. mentioning names. My goodness. But you see, I'm like this because Uncle Kiku. Uncle mm. Kiku, where are you? We found you. That's your business. You are able with the words you have to pronounce church. Thank you, Jesus. I will save this word. Read this with me. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. I will emphasize on verse 6. At the count of three, we read together. One, two, three. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought in captivity to the obedience so, hey, of Christ. Who is doing this? Go back to verse 3. I, can everybody stand? We're closing. I want you to understand this. We read together. For though we walk in the flesh, yes. meaning though you see me here, though I see you there, though we move, we do not walk according to the flesh there is a nuance here the way you see us the way we look the way we move is one thing when it comes to fighting we do not fight with our uniform mm -hmm. we do not fight with our muscles we fight different mm. a pastor that teaches you how to really fight will be a blessing in your life. Thank you, Jesus. There is a battle going on. Mm. And this battle is not a simple battle. Jesus. You gotta put on the full armor of God. God. It's not something to undermine. Mm -mm. Many have fallen prey to the works of the enemy because they lacked intelligence in the spiritual realm inside to know these things. Do not go molo, no. easy. No. 
with what you're supposed not to. You are the guardian of your family. I receive it. Uh, there must be a full stop yes. to what the enemy is coming to do, taking and destroying, causing everybody to, to suffer. We do not war. We do not fight according to the flesh. I do not punch like this. Mm -mm. You see, if you punch in the flesh, you can hurt somebody with your fist. Mm -hmm. But if you do that in the spirit, a thousand will fall. Hey. You are dangerous. I'm dangerous. But you got to understand how to go about mm. fighting. And the fight here is a good word. Good word compared to the word used in this version. War. Yeah. Meaning that uh, we go to war. And we do not go to war according to the flesh. There are certain things that will change only when you go to war. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the word of God in the New Testament, in this dispensation. This implies you and I. Paul didn't say Jesus Christ died and there is no war anymore. No, he said, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war. We do not fight in the flesh. You cannot hold my blessing captive. No more fever in this child's life. My child is not sickly. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. It carries on. Is it for the weapons of a warfare? There are weapons. Did you understand that your faith requires you to fight? You don't fight to be saved because that is given. You fight to strive for what he has set for you. You fight for that mission. Yes. It's not easy, right? You get close and suddenly it's like a boom, they take it. Fight, son. Fight. That's what it takes. Fight. Mm, mm, mm. You can't just be there. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm a victim. Nothing is happening. Oh, I'm desperate. Do you think that crying solves any matter? I think. Who told you that crying solves matters? Mm. I'm not a pastor because I look pastoral. In fact, I don't look pastoral. <laughs> no. You fight. I fight. I fight for this altar. I fight for you. I fight. I study where I'm supposed not to be studying. I'm on my knees when I'm supposed not to be on my knees. Not because I have time to spare. No. I fight. My Jesus. Therefore, you will not come in air mine and no. snatch one from this altar. No. No. No, no, you say no. You see, for the weapons of our warfare are not canon. Let that wizard know. Let Elimas know. Yes. They have written it down that this year will be just like last year. The yes. devil is a liar. He's a liar. Some people, when they live your life, they want you to go down. The generally mass in the narrative that nothing good will happen. Mm. Mm. Only God has a funnel. Hallelujah. Word. Yes, Lord. Whoever left you, let him go. Let her go. Let them go. Better is coming. I receive you know it. Because God is a rewarder. Thank you. God rewards us. He rewards our passions. He rewards our dedication. He rewards our commitment. He rewards. He rewards. He say our weapons. Mm. The weapons of our warfare are not canon. Mm. So we don't just complain and 
He said, but they are mighty in God. Love the might of God. Love the power of God. Desire the power of God. Don't be empty. Don't be simple. There is nothing attractive in being just like that. Refuse that. Such emptiness cannot be attractive to you. It is not cool to be just like there. It is no sign of being civilized to show nothing. You say things that you cannot prove. Imagine. And you think your part is done. How simple is that? Desire the might of God. Mm. You are not just a young man. You're a young man. Feel with the power of God. I receive it. You're not just a girl like any girl no. down the street. No, you ain't a girl who walk in power. Oh, yes. The power of God is yours. I receive it. Everything in God is mighty. Yes. We are mighty. We are mighty. That's how you take yourself. You build it inside. You don't go like, mm -mm. no. You fill your space. You control your environment. You take position of your territory. Everything feels that you walked in. And he says, the weapons of our warfare are not kind of, but they're mighty in God. Now, mm. to do what? Pulling For down. pulling down strongholds. Pulling down. Yes. Have you been in a gym lately? Mm -hmm. Do you understand pulling? Yeah. There is resistance. Yes. It's action. We are active, Amen. I receive. Say so pulling down strong holes, strong holes through the might we have in the weapons of God. Can be taken down. The devil is a liar. Mm. I said the devil is a liar. a liar. Carry on. Casting down. Arguments. arguments. How do you cast down arguments? Mm. There is a narrative that we stand against. There are statements. They are written prescribes stuff in the heavenly realm. Yes. Judgment set that we stand against. Casting down arguments and every high thing. We don't deal with small things. Mm -mm. When I say we here, I'm talking about you. Understand who I'm you are. Seven. You are more than what you see. Yes. Even the best mirror cannot reflect the true you. I was say that. Casting down arguments and every high thing mm. that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Mm. Every day here, mm. presenting you the word of God, we speak yes. what God is able to do. Despite the narrative of the eloquent out there, right. we tell the world that it is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Can a man do this? Mm. Can a human being be able to do what the Bible is saying to bring every my God. Each one of them. Every thought. <laughs> into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Are you God or what? You show the direction of thoughts. But I hear this. This is critical. Verse 6, read it with me and I will explain. And being ready to punish all disobedience 
when your obedience is fulfilled. Who is the disobedience punisher? Do you understand this? Mm. Mm. We, you, I am. are able to punish. You don't pray for punishment to come. Mm -mm. You, you punish. This is too much power given to me. Punish. To you. My God. I told you this story before. And I hear I'll mention the name, Apostle, oh, a Bishop Jean Bosco Kindomba. The new guy in the community, the Chancellor, wanted to show power. The first thing he said, that church must close. It's making noise. Ah, Papa. <laughs> <coughs> Just like that. Long story short, as they put them under pressure, he went on the altar and let the church say, this new chancellor came and he made us his enemy. We think it's not good for that position. So I want to invite the church to stand up and fire him. Is listening because the sound yes. was loud, and that, that was the point of his complaint. They prayed, he led, he said, In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they mentioned his name. I'm making up the name. The church said, You are fired. 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 In his big office, he heard his name. Fired. He heard the story. Live. <laughs> when they mentioned his name, he thought he was talking about someone else. They say, Kabungubwe <laughs> too. That's me. Fired. Hey. <laughs> the same day, Come on. a courier came and said, Sorry. It was a mistake. You're supposed not to be here. Glory to Jesus. The same. The man ran from his office with the letter mm. to the altar. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Being ready to punish all disobedience. Yes, man of God. The people you don't play with mm -mm. for your own sake. I tell you. Please don't. Don't. I may be just the least of them, but let me tell you, I make an effort to look on the other side, especially when I know a matter will disturb my heart. I make an effort to look. At. There are people you do not play with. Cherish and treasure your life. Yes. You don't want to get to heaven too early. Mm. Yes. Being ready to punish, mm. not some, no. all. all disobedience. Now, this here, the Bible says, when this part is so deep. That it requires a certain level. He said, when your own obedience is fulfilled, when you see someone dedicated, like the bishops you have, how can you see and think that they're your friends? How? Do you know what it costs? Mm. When your obedience is fulfilled, Do not wait until it's too late to know that Bishop Jackie is not your friend. Come on now. I will save it. I will save it. 
Do not wait until you have to be sent to the hospital with broken bones before you realize that the Bishop Stefan is a servant of God. Yes. When your obedience is this level, your authority goes alike. I receive it. Do you know what I do with God and for God? Jesus. Do you? I say it to the lady here. Here. Those days in Lombardy. I said, mention my name tonight, you swallow your tongue. She mentioned it and swallowed her tongue. Yes. Go. Go on. <laughs> Punish. Do you know what it means to be like this? Jesus. I am so much on my knees that without realizing it, when I'm alone, I'm doing my own things. I'm still on my knees. Mm. I'm writing, I'm studying, I'm writing an exam. I'm on my knees. Mm. And Bishop will come and say, oh, you, you're praying? Oh, hey, oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. Do you know what it takes mm. to fast to a point where you permanently have lost your appetite? Jesus. Permanently. So you think we are buddies? Hmm. Think huh? again. Think again. You think you can come with something in your pocket and do this? Hmm. You do this. Hmm. An intense look. <laughs> When you stand, lift your hands. We first pray, oh God, expose every wicked acolyte of the enemy in, of in my life. Every Elimas who is complicating my well-being and stopping the glory of God from manifesting through me. May I be able to identify him wherever he is. Mm. In my community, my family, my workplace, wherever he is. Begin to pray, speak to God. Just pray that God may expose them. If you were blessed by this video, please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI-TV or on our live stream on AMITV.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at Elf Lukawa.